Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at another Summer 25 release update, the ability to create renewal opportunities for Forecast and Salesforce Revenue Cloud. So we'll add into Salesforce and see what that looks like. So as some of you may know, it was not possible so far to create renewal opportunities for Forecast, not out of the box anyway, but as of Summer 25, we do get that new feature available. So I've created a simple quote right now under my account. The account is Amazon. They don't currently own any assets. I've created a a very simple quote with only one subscription product. And we'll take that all the way into the flow to see how that renewal opportunity is created and then how we, how we can create renewal quotes against that opportunity as well. So before we move on with our quote, let's see what how that is going to happen and what Revenue Cloud provides to let you go in and create those renewal opportunities. So if you head over to flows, if you've got access to a Summer 25 uh, environment, there is a new flow template in there called create and update renewal opportunity. So I've already went ahead and saved this as a new flow in my environment. And well, here's a very zoomed out look at everything that's happening in this flow. But if we slightly zoom in this, we can see everything that's happening in there. So the first thing to note is this is a platform event triggered flow. So that's going to launch based on a platform event that's created once your assets are created against an order. So you create your quote, then create your order, order is activated, assets are created, that does launch a platform event. The flow is listening to those platform events and it is gonna run based on those. Once it does get that, then it's gonna look true to orders to find the order where that asset was coming from, then it's gonna do a couple different things. And obviously because this is flow, this is entirely, you know, this can be modified, you can modify the different uh, opportunity field values that are being set in there you can control really find control over your renewal opportunity process for this but this gives you really a good template right to get started on and and leverage in your process flows so the first interesting thing it does is it gets a summary of the renewable assets based on that order so it's going to look through the assets that were created in that platform event it retrieves the data and then it iterates over the assets and depending on if it's a net new sale an amendment, a cancellation, it's gonna do different things for your opportunity, right? So it's gonna create or update an existing opportunity. It's gonna create or update opportunity products as well, right? So it's if, if it's an initial sale and you're creating the renewal opportunity, it's simply gonna go in and create new opportunity products. But if you go in and amend, it's then gonna modify your current opportunity products. So it's not adding in more, right? So let's say a customer currently has a quantity of one, they come in a couple months later, renewal opportunity still hasn't closed they add more licenses right let's say they buy five more now it's going to iterate over your existing opportunity products and it's going to change the quantity from one to six and it's also going to change the total amount to whichever new total amount it should be on your renewal opportunity so it's very interesting and we'll see what happens when we actually launch this against assets so it goes through that entire flow creates all the necessary data updates required data and then it completes, which gives you an opportunity with opportunity products. So let's go back to our quote. We'll go ahead and create our order first for this quote. Once we get to the order, there we go. And now before I actually go ahead and activate this order, I've got Jetstream. For those that know what Jetstream is, if you don't, I uh, highly recommend I use this every day. Very easy to use tool for a lot of admin stuff, but mainly in this demonstration what I want to show is that uh, I've went to the dev tool in Jetstream and I've subscribed to the platform events for the create asset order event which is what's going to trigger our flow so we can see what comes up when we actually activate this and the assets get created so back into Salesforce I've got my order I'm ready to activate it I'll go ahead and activate once my order is activated as you know this launches at least in my environment right your flow might be different but it launch launches the asset creation job so if we go in and look at our account we'll see that we should now have an asset and there we go we have an asset under that account for the period that we've started this on and if i head back into jetstream we can see that we've got two platform events that were created uh with different payloads so and carries into it the order identifier right so that's how it can find the assets and create the renewal opportunities based on that order identifier and that's the payload that gets sent into your flow and that's what's going to launch that flow to run so if we go back 
again into our Salesforce environment. So we, as you, as I just said, we have got the asset created. And if we look at our account and the related list, we can now see that we have a renewal forecast opportunity that wasn't there before. That one just got created with a close date of the end date of our current subscription. We can also see the subscription products is on there with the same price that we had on our quote. Quantity is correct as well. And this, um, for those that might be curious, does link back to your uh, asset that got created against the account as well. So there is a, uh, an asset ID field that looks up to the asset that got created under the account. So that's obviously the easiest use case, right? Asset gets created, auto create the renewal opportunity with the correct amount. So now what happens if we go in and we amend that, uh, that asset and change quantities? How, how is that going to be managed, right? So I entered at it earlier. It's going to update the existing opportunity product, but let's go through that flow. So I'll hit amend for that specific asset on my account. We can set the amendment date in the future, whichever date you want. And then we can hit submit, schedule the amendment. That's going to create our amendment quote. There we go. Our amendment quote is created. Quantity of zero for so far. Let's change the quantity up to five. It's save, meaning really we're taking the quantity of that asset from one to six at this point. We're adding five more licenses for that uh, account and that product. Let's give it a second to save. All right. So now full price calculates on our quote. Price is updated. Pro rates based on our start date and calculates based on the on the quantity. So we've got our new updated total for that quote. So that's my amendment quote. And again, we'll go back through the flow. We'll create the order. Order 104 was created. Again, this shows that our quantity went up by five. We've got the total price and we'll once again activate this, which if we now jump back into Jetstream quickly should also give us more platform events. There we go. So we've got a couple more platform events to show up on here on our new order, which means that that has again triggered the flow to run. So if we add back into Salesforce and we look uh, at, let's head back to our Amazon account. We can see that the renewal forecast opportunity total is different now. It was a thousand, now it's six. And if I look at my product, our quantity is now set to six. It was one before, right? But that's now what's going to re uh, renew, right? We're going to get a quantity of six to renew, total price of 6,000, and date is still the same, 630, 2025. Now, next thing you would want to go through in that process, obviously, would be creating your uh, your renewal quote, right? So uh, unfortunately, so far from what I've tested, it doesn't look like if you use the standard renewal features against the managed assets here. So if you select this, hit renew, it's going to create your renewal quote, but with no link to the renewal opportunity. So unless you go in and modify that flow, obviously, you can you do control that flow. So you could go in and modify and make sure you pass in the opportunity ID for your renewal. So that's one option. If you wanted to, uh, to have a look, but like I said earlier, if we go back to our opportunity product, that opportunity does look up to the asset ID, which I need to trigger the renewal process in Revenue Cloud. So what you can also do, and what I've done, is I've created a simple screen flow that lets us handle the renewal and make sure that we create our renewal quote against uh, our existing opportunity. So ultimately, what this flow does is quite simple, right? Because again, the asset ID is linked on our, my opportunity product. I've created a screen flow that can be launched from an opportunity. It gets the opportunity product loop through them. It assigns the different IDs of the related assets to a collection. And then I launch the initiate, initiate renewal, which exists out of the box with Revenue Cloud uh, action, Apex Action. So I pass in the list of asset IDs that you would have on your opportunity. The output type that I want is a quote in this use case, and I can also pass in the opportunity ID, which is where it's been triggered from. That's one example of how you can end, handle it, but because all the actions are in there and the data is in there, it would also be easy enough to have it on a schedule where you create the renewal quote as you're getting closer to the end date of your opportunity, right? That's only one example, but you could take this different ways. But the data, data is all in there. The actions exist as well. So re this is really point and click, and you can do that with any flow. So if we head back onto our opportunity, click on there, I've got an option to create my renewal quote. It's simply a button that launches my flow and passes in the record ID, says that my renewal quote has now been created. If I head back to my quotes uh, list page. I can now hit refresh and we've got a new renewal quote that's been created linked to our opportunity. So if I click run that quote, we'll see that it matches the final state of our asset, right? Quantity of six, 
list price of a thousand for a subtotal of six thousand. So this was the intro to the new renewal opportunity feature of Revenue Cloud in Summer 25. Please, if you like the content, take a moment to subscribe. Leave me comments if you've got any questions. Please reach out and have a great day.